Hey, what's up? Yeah, they finally released the vampire one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. They finally, it's not like an early access state where it's unbeatable now, so uh, I'm gonna do it. Figured it'll fit well into the window of time I have. Figured it'll fit well into the time that I have before I must leave. Yes. That song went hard. It's uh, from the Shadows Over Loathing track. It's good. A lot of songs are really good. But yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Probably not gonna be a long stream today. I've got D and D at seven in four hours ish, and uh, also simultaneously, I just got some stuff I want to take care of before that. I need to like eat food. My dog is sick, so I didn't really have time to eat or do anything before stream today. Dog not feeling good, and uh, when they're not feeling good, it is a it is a whole thing. And I know why they're not feeling good. Ah, poor baby. Listen here. Okay. They need to learn to stop eating garbage. <laughs> Somewhere in our yard is something that every season they get into. And then they get the shits. And then that's all of our problem for the next day and a half. I feel bad for my rugs. They'll be fine. <laughs> I feel bad for the rugs and the floors. Okay. Because this happens every season. I feel bad. I feel bad for everything else. But my dog will be okay. <laughs> Dogs just can't pass up free garbage. They just love eating trash, dude. Uh, uh, oops. <laughs> you didn't see that. Uh, no, they love eating garbage. I was trying to reach past my, uh, what was it? It was just the game. <laughs> I was just trying to reach past it to grab something. I pressed the button. But, uh, yeah, they won't stop eating trash, and I'm also killing time until Callisto, which, by the way, I'm not not allowed to say this. Um, I do have access to the game right now, and I can't play it on the PC, as in the game's performance literally won't allow it. Uh, so... Hopefully that's patched by the time that um uh I have a I have a very powerful PC and even on low settings uh if you turn your camera too fast it drops to like 5 fps. So hopefully that's fixed. I'm assuming there's a day one patch and some drivers coming out that'll sol like solve it cuz otherwise I have to get it on the PS5. <laughs> otherwise I'll have to get it on a PS5. So Possible just warning, maybe pick it up on a console if you have the option. Uh, right now. I'm not really, I'm not fucking up any embargo stuff by just saying that. Right now, there are some problems with that. I'm sure it'll be fixed. This is a very, uh, it's a very elaborate options menu and everything. I'm very sure that there's just some driver problem. But, uh, yeah. I would say wait until release and make sure that it's working. If you're excited to play it on PC specifically. I can't believe Tomato killed Copium. I didn't kill Copium. I don't go on to BTTV. If Copium's not on there, it's because whoever made Copium killed Copium. Whoever literally made Copium, and frankly, you've been overusing it anyways. And frankly, all right, maybe they did us all a favor. Mm. 
Maybe they did everyone a favor. Give us back our drugs now. What about Krungopium? Krungo's gone, dude. We like Smadge now. Krung Krungo's getting old. We like Smadge now. Everyone likes Smadge more. Sadder and Matter. But yeah. We'll, uh... We'll definitely be doing Callisto Protocol tomorrow, uh, likely for a long stream, because I don't have anything going on uh, in the evening. There is no D&D &D with Joe, so I'll be doing a long one. Uh, whether or not I'll beat the whole game on stream remains to be seen. It depends on how far I get in, because I'm going to do max difficulty. But I can say that uh, I'll try my hardest. I was about to say things about the game because I have played some of it, but I'm actually not going to. I do not think I'm allowed to do that, even though I did sign no NDA and the embargo is only for visual uh, shit, but I'm still not going to say anything out of respect. Lawsuit streamer. Nah, I just wouldn't ever be given a code again by them. <laughs> if they made another game, I'd never be given another code, but. You know, at the same time. Shrug. I think the whole game's already technically been leaked by someone all the way through, whole playthrough. What? Yeah, no, that's normal though. Someone always gets a hold of the game early. When there's physical copies, someone always does. That's not surprising. That's literally like, there's always going to be some, like, hole. Like, always. That's always gonna happen. But yeah, I'm definitely hovering over buying it on console just because I literally can't move my camera in it. Fingers crossed they fix that. You just broke the Callisto protocol. can't just plug controller into PC. Oh no, you think it's a mouse problem. No, it's a, uh, even on the lowest graphical settings, the game chugs at a frame rate of less than 30 when you turn around certain corners. Problem. Which it feels like it's my duty to warn people about, even if there could be drivers and updates that fix it immediately on day one release, because right now I'm sure that's what a lot of reviewers on PC are having issues with and probably documenting uh, is that this game is not running well. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I've got a single person problem, but I mean like I can play other games without any FPS problems, like Vermin, like fucking uh, Dark Tide and everything. So my, my computer's working. <laughs> Is there stomping at least? I can say this. I'm definitely no issue saying this. It is very clearly what the creative director wanted to turn Dead Space 3 into is what it feels like. This game feels like Dead Space 3 if it had been made by the right people and without EA uh, standing over their, like, shoulder. They set the review embargo for tomorrow, so those reviews won't be seen till release. Yeah, I'm not really putting out, like, a review or anything, which is why I don't feel too bad saying, like, a actual consumer warning right now, the PC version of the game. Like, literally, when I saw the performance, I considered messaging, like, the person who sent me the code and being like, can you just give me, like, a PS5 one? I truly can't even... It's not good. It's not good. But I'm also confident that I there's no game ready driver yet. I checked. There is none for it yet. I'm sure that some of it will be addressed. But it would be I it would be fucked up to not mention it. Like it feels it feels like that's fucked up 
when the review embargoes are locked to when the game releases, evidently. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't, that don't, that don't ever sit right with me, you know? But I, these seem like very confident, uh, competent devs, so I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fixed up. Especially considering the minimum requirements for the game were very low uh, compared to what my system is. So I'm sure that there's just like some driver that's missing or something that needs to be like just very quickly like tuned up. I'm sure, I'm sure. I have no idea what you're talking about. Have you ever considered rewinding the VOD instead of just saying that? Bill? Have you ever considered that? Dude, I love chat messages, dude! I love chat messages, bro! Considered what? What did I miss? <laughs> God, I hope Callisto ends up being good. Well, if it's bad, I'll never buy another AAA game or play another AAA game for the rest of my fucking life. Unless it's made by, like, I guess Sony. I, I guess unless it's made by like Sony, I guess, because they're the only ones that can even bother. What? Literally. Rockstar still makes good games. True, but Take Two, uh, every time Rockstar puts out a new game, Take Two gets their claws in a little bit deeper. Every time, every time. And one day, they'll be in too deep. Rockstar abandoned Red Dead Online for GTA Online? Yeah, which is uh, still baffling to me, actually. That still baffles me. I can't believe that. But well, whatever, man. I'm still sad RDO sucked ass. It didn't suck ass, it just never got support. It's what makes the money. Yeah, well. It wasn't good, let's be honest. I disagree. I I disagree. I think it was fun. I think it was fine. It was that it didn't get support. Red Dead Online, uh, GTA Online was about the same at launch, except it got support. It got supported as time went on. And Red Dead didn't. It was basically set up to fail. They couldn't figure out how to monetize it. Nah, I just think they didn't want to support two games at the same time, and GTA already had a uh, audience, so they quietly sent out Red Dead Online to die from the moment it launched. And they knew they wouldn't support it. They likely knew the moment that GTA, uh, that Red Dead Redemption 2 launched that they wouldn't be supporting it. Because they didn't, they already knew how much more money GTA was making. And it wasn't going to lose any momentum just because Red Dead was around. Because that audience was already there and deeply embedded in it because of how much money they had already invested over the course of 5, 10 to like 7 years. Why spend the resources to make an online mode at all then? sells the initial copies of the game. I think that a selling a Red Dead game when the first game had multiplayer and the second one didn't would have actually impacted sales for some people. So? Makes sense to me. Tomato, what GPU do you recommend? Mine is dying. I'm not a tech guy. Ask the internet that probably knows more about that stuff than I do. 
Uh, most, believe it or not, most streamers don't know fucking anything about computers, and asking one of them for advice about your computer and your hardware is, uh, not wise, I would say. Can ask me for advice about audio hardware. I can probably give you advice on that, but, uh, Every single streamer is gonna go, ah, get a fucking 3080 Ti. Dude, get a fucking, get a fucking 4090, bro. Yes, dude. Why don't you fix laggy games yourself? Sometimes, sometimes you have to. Well, I mean, I don't, but people online do, and then I look up their fixes and then fix the dev's game for them. And I'm sure that if no solution is introduced to fix uh, the issues with Callisto Protocol by launch, someone will buy like hour two put like a fucking post in on like the Steam community forums and be like, oh, hey, um, here's the fix. You got to change this one to a zero in a config file and then I'll fix it. As is mostly the case every time. Are you going to play the new Amnesia game when it comes out? I have no trust in those devs whatsoever after what they did with Rebirth. There is no fucking way they can get my goodwill back that easily. Uh, no. I'll believe it when I fucking see it. They're uh, one for three so far. And yes, I do count. Uh, the devs should be thankful that I count uh, Machine for Pigs. Uh, because it's still somehow better than Rebirth at some points. Holy shit. <laughs> they should be thankful that I even include it. Soma was great doesn't matter just because their old games are good doesn't mean that doesn't mean shit when compared to the new one that was so beans so rebirth was so beans soma's a 10 out of 10 i don't think it's a 10 out of 10 i think the story's good i think a lot of uh, the rest of it uh has been kind of I think it's a solid seven I think it's a solid seven Soma IMO but I'm more picky with those kinds of things yeah that's what he said 10 out of 10 I didn't say 10 out of 10. Soma would have been a good movie. It would have been a better movie. Like, genuinely. I just thought it... I just thought it... Uh, I don't know. There were parts of it that, like, annoyed me. But I'm not here to discuss Soma. I'm really not... People get passionate about that game to an extent of, like, frothing at the mouth. I mean, the lack of threat. It definitely... Oh, well, I mean, even, like... Even, like, Amnesia Dark Descent, when you really think about it, had a significant lack of real threat. Like, a lot of the time... Stuff couldn't really get you. Like, I, I don't know. It, stuff with Soma just didn't click with me. I liked it enough to like beat it though, which I guess means something because, uh, you know, I literally never turned Amnesia Rebirth on after I stopped streaming it that day. It takes the, f it takes a lot for a long form horror game to get me out of playing it with 
in like a half of a stream and make me turn the stream off. Okay, that should be the biggest thumbs down for a game ever is to baffle me to the point where I turn it off and am upset about it. Check the baby. It's just like, look, the fact that the devs went from Rebirth, which was one of the most just on rails horror games, like from what I played, like that they could have possibly spat out to the next one being like, we're making an open immersive sim horror game where you can just do whatever you want. And this, I don't feel like they learned a fuck. I'll believe it when I goddamn see it. Maybe it'll be great. If it is great, I'm happy for them, but, but to 180 that fast to a totally different direction after rebirth. I don't trust that. I don't trust it. Not even Markiplier finished it, Pepe Hands. Wait, what did Markiplier not finish Rebirth? Because that is the biggest thumbs down ever. No way. He had to. He had to. He must have. So someone, someone call Mark. Someone get Mark on the line. Can someone get Mark into this meeting? The King of FNAF wouldn't even finish Rebirth. Even, even the King of FNAF. Even Mr. Plyer himself? He's not picking up. Well, look, what can we do? He's a busy guy. If he can't confirm that he beat it, then he didn't ever beat it. God, that's bad. Damn. He did three videos and stopped playing it. Right on. I couldn't even get through that many. It's just like, look, here's the thing. Amnesia, the Dark Descent at the time of its release was groundbreaking. I would say. I would say everyone, it's hard to deny that if you were there when Amnesia came out, you would say that, that was a fucked up game the first one that game was a fucked up game that game was doing some things that people people really did not have like have really any and i mean yeah uh penumbra i think was the name of it right the one that they did beforehand was also had like similar stuff but uh, you know, it didn't have the same reach. It didn't have the same exposure. And it was kind of a mess. Uh, Amnesia was more focused. So it got a lot more attention. But, like, to step away from everything... Amnesia was good because it waited a long time to get some of those spooks in. I even remember that. I haven't played through it in a long time. It waited a long time before something actually came to get you. And for Rebirth to be like... <laughs> And like have like a creature jump in front of you like the creature jump in front of you in the first like fucking like five minutes of the game in a forced cutscene. just felt like it wasn't even made by the same people it like it truly felt like it wasn't made by the same team it warned you you'd be jump scared in a cute in like a pop-up Hey, just letting you know, I don't want you to get too scared, you'll stop playing. There's a little guy coming up. He's gonna make a scary sound, he's gonna get real, he's gonna like loom over you. Is there a bot of you playing Rebirth? Not if I can help it. 
<laughs> Not if I can help it, man. <sighs> yeah, watch out for the little guy, though. Because, uh, don't worry. We'll let you know every single time the little guy's about to show up. Because we'll have, like, a little horror sting. You're like... And then we'll have, like, a little... Little scamper. You'll hear something. Scamper across something. What's that? What's that sound? Oh. El Gablino. Beep, 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 beep. Background ambience louder than game dialogue. Look, chat, it's okay. Here's the thing. I talked shit about the, like, ambience and the scary, like, tracks in the background. Those are okay if they're done well. Games that have done them well. Alien Isolation. Uh, that game had a lot of ambient tracks and shit playing, but the thing is that the tracks were so good that your brain would be like, oh, I'm fucking dead. And just, like, make you stop doing things because you were scared of them, like, the sounds. Darkwood, same thing. Uh, fucking Dead Space. Dead Space, absolutely. And while it's not like, while I didn't, haven't played that much yet, because obviously I'm waiting for stream, uh, Callisto Protocol's doing the same fucking shit. Like, it has music playing in scenes, but the thing is that it's doing it well, and the, the atmosphere is well handled to the point where the music and shit, like, adds to the experience rather than spoiling hey there's something coming that's going to be a problem for you and then you have it and you hear a little goblin running by and that's the and then it goes away again it's like there's a difference between a constant thing that makes the game scarier and more atmospheric and having a sound effect spoil something There was a Wired video done by the director for uh, Callisto Protocol. Uh, he breaks down all little things that go into making a good horror game. Here's the thing is that you don't want to release that until reviews come out and confirm that your game is a good horror game. Or you're going to look like an absolute fucking bozo. Like, while well, yeah, I've played enough Callisto to be like, okay, this definitely feels like a like direct sequel to Dead Space 2 in a good way. Uh, you did you really don't want to say that your game is like the next like big fucking horror game before uh, people can actually confirm it with their own eyes <laughs> Cuz boy oh boy So far though, I'm optimistic I think body horror is key It's it's very hard not to like talk. Look, look here's the, I've played about, I'd say like two hours of the game, maybe an hour. And I stopped because I literally couldn't play anymore because the performance was so bad that I couldn't move. Uh, when it was running well, it was, it was definitely, definitely a very good game. Is what I'll say. Bloodborne horror. Bloodborne's not scary. Bloodborne's not a scary game, man. Bloodborne's not scary because you got a guy that can like uh, eat people and like run around and like uh, like do a ten billion damage because he got a funny wheel. Bloodborne is spooky, is what I would say. Uh, maybe a little spooky. The real scary part is having to farm blood vials. Whenever I think about playing through Bloodborne again, I think about that. I think about farming blood vials and farming bullets. And then I remember that the game hates me. It doesn't like me. I'm like, eh. Eh. What about Alien Isolation? Game too long. Game too long. Literally never beat it. And I never will. I think that game is amazing. Never going to beat it. I don't think horror games should be longer than 14 hours. <laughs> okay? 
if Callisto Protocol's longer than 14 hours, it's too long. I'm gonna be honest. It's too long. If it runs longer than 14, it's gonna start getting thumbs downs from me. I'm gonna start saying it's overstaying its welcome. I don't care how good the game is. Horror games shouldn't be 14 hours ever. Ever, man. Man who loves Dead Space 2 wants a short horror game. Dead Space 2 runs for about 14 to 16 hours. Uh, does not run longer. I'll double check it. Yeah, about nine hours. <laughs> Dead Space, in order to beat the main game, beats it takes about nine hours to maybe 12. That's about the sweet spot, I would say, for most good horror games. Any longer than that, and it's starting to get... You, you start to get numb to the surprises that a good horror game can actually provide you, you know what I mean? That's like, that's a little... Most games don't overstay their welcome. Horror genre games do. If they can't wrap it up at a certain point, it feels bloated. And these things, the whole point of the game is that it's supposed to scare you and shock you. And it can't do that anymore because it's shown its hand. You know? I'm not reading your fucking name, man. I'm just fucking not gonna do it. I'm not gonna fucking do it, but thank you for the five gifted subs. I won't do it anymore. Read his name? No. No. Howard? Oh, you think name calling's gonna make me do it? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Wrong. Darkward incompleter. Dude. Darkwood was great, but holy shit. That game was the most miserable thing to deal with on stream ever in my entire career, and I will never look back ever again. That's the only game I think in my entire, entire Twitch streaming life uh, that was truly ruined by chat. Truly ruined. Actually ruined by you. Not all of you, but... My God, it wasn't even like it. Imagine being told at every single turn, like some kind of bit that what you were doing was ruining the game, that you were going in a direction that was going to ruin the game. You're ruining the ending. You're getting the wrong ending. If you do that, you have the wrong ending. You're not going to get, you're going to miss something. Hey, go over there, go over there, go over there. Oh, look out around that corner. And then to find out after you're so mad about uh, what you're doing in the game because it turns out you can't do anything right, you look up for yourself on a wiki the uh, the actual means to get the different endings in the game, and not a single one of them is even possible until the very, 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 very end of the game once you're past everything that matters. You know the amount of people I sh I banned after I looked that up? It was, it was probably hundreds. I can't. Oh boy, 20, twenty. That that the first year of streaming, a lot of people got purged after that one because that was some of the most. That was like truly like like unhinged gaslight bit. Like some unhinged chat members were just like, "I'm going to tell Tomato that he's ruining the game." for three hours straight. That was wild.
it was so weird it's the only time it's ever happened where like people truly were like i don't know if they were like also just didn't really know or what it was so weird But, like, I've been terrified to ever go back to that game again to try to finish it or, like, redo it on, like, a higher difficulty because it's just, like, the... Not even that I think chat would do it now because I think that, like, it simply wouldn't be possible. Like, I do truly think that, like, the chat size is different enough now where it wouldn't be possible for such a thing, like, such an echo chamber to be formed again. But it's like, I just think about it and it would ruin it for me. Like, even thinking about it would ruin the stream for me. Never. Never, man. Never. You're doing it wrong. You're ruining the experience for me. My crippling social anxiety with 20 tier 3 gifted subs. Misclicking yet again. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for having a name I can read in the chat. Thank you for having a name I can say out loud. Thanks. Thanks. Mean, truthful. All right, ain't nothing mean about it. It's just truthful. Hey, thanks. I used to be in the Darkwood Discord and whenever anyone asked for any sort of help, like five members would all come out of the woodwork and give a paragraph long explanation of what they should do and shit. It's, it's like no one, dude, I don't know if it's just me, but like a lot of my friends have played through Outer Wilds, okay? A lot of my friends, this is the closest thing I can get to this, like as an example. And the idea of not allowing everyone around me to struggle and flail at this game that I love so much and never, ever, ever penetrate even a single one of like the puzzles or nuance of that game and just constantly slam their face into a brick wall for two hours or three hours straight was truly brought me so much joy and the idea of sending anyone a paragraph long explanation on how to do something when I could instead laugh at them as they get eaten by fish why would you ever want to ruin that for someone that's the fun part to watch is watching some fucking bozo fail something that you did right. Like, why, why would you ever want to help them? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. The only fun part of watching someone play a game you've already played is watching them get owned. Like, I don't understand. All I want to ever do when I watch my friends play something I've played is watch them fuck it up really bad so I can laugh at them quietly. Okay? I don't want to see them succeed. That's not the point. You're mad at people wanting for you to succeed, tomato? Yes. That exactly. My response to that message is yes. My streamer cannot enjoy vicarious successes. Oh no, I can. I can enjoy when my friends succeed on something. But it feels a lot better when I know they did it themselves and they didn't uh, have someone without request fucking force their way in and ruin it for them. People only get to play games one time, chat. Really, truly, there's only one time where you have an untainted playthrough of a game. And to have someone walk in 
and give a paragraph of explanation on how to do something unrequested. Uh, those people are subhuman to me. Those are little ghouls. Like that's that's actually goblin behavior. That's some that's some bullshit. I'll never get Darkwood back. I'll never be able to enjoy that game enough to play through it again. It'll never be possible. That's why I don't have my mods fuck around when it comes to like backseating and stuff. That's why they take it seriously. That shit is serious to me. You don't get you don't get the first playthrough of a game back. You know? Backseating's fucking cringe, man. Sorry, I was just reading really stupid other messages being posted in the chat. Like, for instance, and I can't believe I need to say this, but it has been a situation before. KD's not the only mod here, chat, and I do not appreciate uh, when people diminish the work of my other mods by acting like KD is the only one just because she is sometimes the most vocal and the one I read the most messages from. Behave. Don't be fucking assholes. The other mods do shit. Remember that. <sighs> Finishing my coffee. Hell, I'd be more worried about getting in trouble by the fucking quieter mods, dude. You don't have any eyes on them. He got a loaded gun in the darkness. And you're laughing. Bold. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So here's the situation. This map in Folklore Hunter has been unfinished for years. Apparently now it's finished, allegedly. Allegedly it's finished now. So we're going to play it. No, I'm not playing multiplayer. Mainly because even trying to convince any one of my friends to not play Dark Tide for 10 seconds is a fucking absolute feat. And I don't have that kind of time. And also, I kind of like these hunting games solo. A little. I think, that, I think they're actually better solo. Because you don't have, uh... Takes longer to actually kill the thing. And you can't just instantly shred everyone to death. With four different guns all shooting at them at the same time. Kind of a screwball question, but how much influence do you think streamers have on audience behavior? Oh, plenty. A lot. <laughs> a lot. People will naturally absorb some of the behavioral traits of the streamer they watch, whether they like it or not, and whether I like it or not, uh, because it's just what they're watching. It's what their brain is intaking. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. But you are getting influenced by the streamers you watch just by observing them. Just by making chat jokes and memes specific to that chat, you are slowly changing, mutating like a little freak. Like a little freak. 
And then you walk outside one day, and when something cringe happens out in public, you say, that's Krongo. And then you look at your hands, and you're shaking, you're sweating. You've already changed just a little bit more. Most streamers are cognito hazards. Okay? Most of them are cognito hazards. And you know this. Just remember that. Hang on, I gotta get my fu- I've got like an actual coat on right now. <sighs> oh! Okay. That's better. What the fuck is that sound? Oh. I thought I heard like a gas leak. <laughs> you know, I don't think gas leaks. I thought I thought I heard the sound of like something leak. It's like a, some kind of gas leaking out of another thing. But I was wrong. We're cool, chat. We're cool. There's no gas leak in the house. It sounded kind of like something deflating, but I was wrong. No, no, no. We're cool. We cool. We're cool. Everyone, chill the fuck out. All right, calm down. I gotta turn off the lights. I gotta keep my eyes focused or else when Dracula shows up, I'll be unable to punch him in the throat. We're going to Bloodfang Forest. People of the small village in the mountains have all mysteriously disappeared. You've been called to find out who or what took them. Everyone turn off your lights and get your headphones on. Okay? This game might induce psychosis. This game is literally a cognito hazard. Chat. You could die playing this. Everyone went missing. Our job is to find them and kill whatever made them go missing. Up. Oh. Oh! For some reason, chat. No matter what I do, the motion blur turns back on every time I launch this game. I know for a fact I've turned it off a thousand times. Yeah. Here we are! Beautiful, scenic... They only gave me this napkin for a map, so we're kinda... We're kinda on our own out here, but... Okay. Hang on. Can I... Uh, gameplay... HUD display, is that simple? I've turned off the crosshair because I don't like the- I don't like a fucking dot on my screen ever in any game where I can turn it off, I will. I know what the center of my fucking screen is, I'm not blind. Uh, I like my HUD as minimal as possible in these games. Oh, look at that! What did I say? What did I just say? If you press escape in this game, the motion blur turns back on! Alright. No pausing. If you pause, we die. All right. Village is over yonder. Let's keep our wits about us. Dracula's wandering these hills. Dracula's somewhere in this mountain range. Let's go ahead and make sure we collect as much supplies as possible. We're gonna want a crossbow or two. Wait, I have two of them. Uh, one is probably for, like, a friend if I had one. I won't be needing it. Oh. We'll just ditch it. And by ditch it, I mean put it in my bag. Nice. Okay. 
All right, chat, so here's the deal. We need to, we're gonna stay inside this, we're gonna stay inside this giant old watchtower until night falls. When night does fall, we will linger here, okay, and shoot anything that approaches. Unfortunately, my bolts are not made out of wood, which if we were fighting a Dracula would be the smart, hang on, that's actually so fucking smart. Why I have to load these crossbows are so slow to load. Why wouldn't I just load two of them? That's fucking actually galaxy brained. What? Can I not just hang on? Oh yeah. That's gonna do some damage. Oh yeah, that's gonna do some damage. Who needs three players? <laughs> Who needs three players when you can pop, 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 and give them the old triple blast? Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. All right, all right, chat. Here's the deal. Okay, I think some of the best places to put cameras on this map are gonna be these watchtowers. We're gonna need some. I'm gonna try to hook some of these up. The cameras on watchtowers makes a lot of sense on this level. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That'll do. Yeah, that's actually really good. Hang on. I'm trying to get it. I don't want it to be in front of that. What's the best? That gives it. What gives us the most coverage? It's kind of like. No, I don't think this watchtower is the one. I think that one's the one because there's no trees in front of it. All right, let's go over to that tower. Let's start making our way over. There's so much stuff here. All right, let's get a move on. No one leaves until Dracula's dead. Okay. Come on. We're going to that tower. So this was the uh, this was the village that we got calls about. Apparently, everyone's dead or dying. Apparently, they've all been eaten and or are missing. Our job is to find whatever did it and bring it to justice and or take its life if it can't be taken to justice. Now, I am quite confident that everyone in this town is dead. Most of the people in this town seem to have turned into bloodstains. Almost all, in fact, almost all of them. So we're just not going to bother even looking inside any of these other buildings. I'm not interested in being spooked. I hate that. I hate it. Why would... Poor person who lives here. Imagine just waking up every morning. You yawn. Wow, Jesus. Whoever lived here, they got really fucking... Damn, they got mangled bad. Give me this. They take someone every night. I hear them on the roof now. Tomorrow, I'm taking my children out of this godforsaken forest. I think they're gone. Maybe now I can get some sleep. And then they got dragged, attacked, hauled all the way out of their house, bleeding so much blood. And then the last thing they saw as they screamed for help was the closest thing we can get to a Norse live slug reaction. And then they got dragged away. Rip bozo, dude. Rip bozo. Better luck next time, idiot. Should have bought a door. Yeah, really, I think the biggest problem here is that they invested in windows, and we know they know how to make hatches because the windows work. But, yeah, there are no doors in the whole place. Uh, really, just no doors. I gotta get up to that tower. Jet. The Pathetic. We got one, brother. We got one. Gonna need that meat. Oh my God. It's Dracula droppings. 
It's actually a common misconception that he doesn't have to like- He actually- he poops and pisses quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff you can use to track one. Uh... Uh, uh, most of the- he doesn't- he eats meat as well as blood, but most of the meat is more of a hobby. Uh... Those are just big old bricks... <laughs> of... of matter. Literally shits bricks. What is his diet? Blood and meat, but the meat just kind of gets... It's like eating corn. You know what I mean, shit? It's like eating corn. Your body- body doesn't know what to do with most of it. It just gets it out of there. Okay, this is the spot. Oh yeah, this is where we're gonna spend the night. We got a light. We got a crate. Full of ammo. We got... <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh... Maybe we just set up a camera up here and we go somewhere else to spend the night. You guys know what I mean? Maybe we... Maybe this is like a... a, a yeah, maybe... Maybe he's, he might have slipped. Dracula doesn't hit the same place twice. Okay. So we've got a night vision camera. With eyes on the whole village. What the fuck is that thing? God? I didn't know that was there. Camera, why do you have crossbows? Huh? Because those are two totally different things that you could own at the same time. But I also have a gun. Did you think that just because I was- OH FUCKING CHRIST! I think that was just a naked guy. The fuck was that thing? Some guy- some naked creature just crawled along the fucking- Also, my flashlight's incredible. Just- just so we're all aware, my flashlight- This is like the first game with a good flashlight. My flashlight's insane. This is like 10,000 lumens. The fuck was that sound? The fuck's that? Let's just keep our wits about us, okay? If anything's gonna come after us, it's gonna have to climb this. We're gonna spend the night here, on the watchtower. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Hang on, I don't know about that. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the sm I thought there was a ghost behind me! I thought there was a ghost behind me! It's just- it's just like that weird lens. Okay, this night vision camera is fucking actually terrible. It's only 10.30. Chat. But we had a sighting of that weirdo. Which makes it even more hesitant to go down there. We had a... We know where the creature went, he went into the... That was our sound. Hello? Hello? Flashlight's so good, it's ruining the night vision. No, it looks like the night vision just has a maximum distance, which means I actually can't- I have to move it. It's not gonna get any value up here. It's, uh, it's fine. We'll just, uh, find another place to put it. I'm plenty of vision up here. No need for a night vision here. Hit its antler. That's its weakest body part.
Well, I guess I'll go down and get it. The meat, I mean. Guess I'll just walk in the middle of the night to the, uh... Fuck off! Oh Christ, there's multiple of them! You don't know how to climb that ladder. There's two of them. There's multiples of Dracula. Oh no. Oh no. It's a good thing they can't climb ladders. But they, I think they want that deer. Okay, so there's Dracula. Uh, we're gonna have to find their nest, chat, is what it seems like. Seems like we're gonna have to find their nest. They must have some kind of breeding ground. And if I had to reckon, seems like it's up in this mountainside. Considering two of them have crawled down off this mountainside tonight. Seems like a fair guess that there's probably something going on up there. I really want that deer, though. Everything's fine. Everything, everything is under control. No, it's not fine. We're gonna submerge yourself in the shadows just like a Dracula. Nope. No. Dude, I'm scared. I don't wanna go down there at night. It's already almost AM. Alright, I'll leave at 4 AM, okay? That's the best I can do. The best I can do is 4 AM. We've seen two we've seen three Draculas tonight. Possibly all different. I'm not going down there. At 4 a.m. we leave. At 4 a.m. we start leaving containment. They looked like werewolves though. Did you not see their gross fucking heads? That wasn't a- what kind of werewolves have you been seeing? That thing was bald. That thing was bald. What you thought it looked like a fucking werewolf. It was to completely bald. Okay. It's time. We're going up the mountain to where we saw those things last. We know they hate the sun. Or so I assume. The fuck is- Oh, that's just a plant. Chat, from here, at this angle, that looks like a little goblin, doesn't it? Like, from here, zoomed out, that plant looks like a guy. Like a little guy. Like, hunched a little, like a kobold, maybe. No, 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 I'm not crazy. You crazy. Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus! Get the fuck out of my face. Freak! Ow, yelled in my ear. Ow. It's a good thing I did the triple crossbow blast. It's a good thing I did the, the triple bullet slam, or I'd be dead right now. Yeah, all it did was yell in my ear and then go. And it went this way. This must be their house. All right. They have to live here. There's no way they... Oh. Oh, it was probably just returning home. You guys think it was just going home? No, wait, no. Hang on. What, did it, what the fuck is this? Well, I don't want that thing looking at me. Wait. 
Do you guys think this thing's like a fucking like totem to check like where I am? Is this their cameras? Thought I heard something. Well, I'd love to get up on that mountainside and like put a camera down. Camera. Oh yeah, this is a camera zone. I mean, the best place is probably like on the roof of this building if I can get up on it. It's not going to be easy. I guess like right here. This gives us a good sight line of everything. Wouldn't the camera also not pick up a vampire? No, it should be fine. Like right there. Actually, no, nah, we'll put it, uh... God, it's so hard to choose, you know what I mean, man? I'm gonna put it right here. This gives me, this gives me actual sight lines on everything, like this, this field. Yeah. Alright, well, this place kind of, kind of a wash, frankly. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check up on the mountainside here, because I'm, I'm worried there's something else going on. You know, that mine shaft is caved in, but maybe that's not the only thing up here. I'm gonna take a look around. Being thorough is one of the most important features of being a vampire hunter. So I'm gonna check this mountain. Have I just left the map entirely? Oh boy, that would have been bad. Okay, that's the end of the map. We can see at the bottom as well. I just wanted to let, I didn't know if maybe the map was just inaccurate or wrong. Okay. We, there's nothing out here for us. There's nothing, there's nothing out there, but I am gonna go south from here and see if I find anything in like the woods. Because we did see creatures scamper up here. Oh. Oh. This is their hunting grounds. In the shrubs. Vampires love hunting inside of these shrubs. Oh, fuck. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Dracula droppings right there. What did I say? They were waiting out here all night for me to go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they were waiting out here all night trying to get me. Uh, we know that for sure now. But I'm a little too smart for that. Yes, sirree. Little bit too smart for that one. We're gonna investigate the rest of town today. You know. Try to get some supplies. Dead. We're gonna check out the church. Vampires hate Jesus Christ. Everyone knows vampires hate the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Everyone also knows that vampires love just loitering around outside of Jesus Christ's fucking place. Alright guys, so I'm gonna film myself going in just in case. Like stuff gets bad. When they jump me, oh, 
I'm going to know it. <laughs> no one's sneaking up on me. Place amulet piece. Oh no. I do not have any amulet pieces. Extracting. Okay. All right. Well, chat, here's the situation. This whole part of the map, explored. All right, there's not much more to do there. We're going south. We're going south. We just have to be back by 5 p.m. Easy. If we're not back by 5 p.m., the sun is going to set, and then the vampires are going to eat me alive. Mom said I can be out till 6. Then that's how long I'll be out. Then that's exactly how long I'm going to be gone. Thank God, more crates. Camera. Owned. We need all the meat we can get. This is a vampire hunting ground. Okay, I actually can't find this deer in the, uh... The grass. Um... Found this one. We don't got time for this. I need to find out what's at the end of this dotted line. What the fuck? Oh! Uh, should I be here at night? I'll tell you fucking what. I'm gonna put a camera down right here. I'll tell you that much. You know what? Let's... <laughs> Who can play at that game, asshole? Okay, yeah, nah, they they know I'm here. This, I believe, may in fact be the vampire's crypt. Uh, I'm going home. Fuck me, man! It's 6.48 p.m. <gasps> we just stumbled right through the shit fields. We gotta get back to the village! We're all gonna die. We're getting in that tower. Here's the plan. I'll get that off my fucking bar. Motion on camera five. Hello? Hmm. 
Make no mistake. No one's getting in this part. Because I'm going to fucking lock it down. Don't even bother trying. Okay? Don't even bother. This is a night of observation. Not even you can escape? Why would I want to? The mine? It's quiet. Looking good, man. Definitely feels like you need cameras on ground floors. You can't really... Why is my... Was my flashlight just flickering? No, no. No, no. The flashlight has battery. I don't care. Fine. We'll use red light. Vampires hate red light. Freak. It's 10, 12 p.m. That's when vampires get extra feisty. Chat. man already okay chat I say we vi we viciously gaslight tomato by denying he ever saw Dracula much less two then we act confused why he's playing a contentless walking sim that would be very funny I'd lol hard What's even the deal with it, man? It's almost midnight. God, I wish I was up at that tower, the one that had a lamp instead of in the red light. We're going to be okay. Just walk there and lull. No. <laughs> it's already 12.24 a.m. It's time for my character's NRP sleeping time. I fall asleep. I'm sleeping right now. Fucking hear something actually crawling around. No, I wake up. I wake up, I heard something crawling. <clears throat> it was like a fucking like cr like scraping sound. You hear that? It's growling. There's something growling. That's not possible, though. I think it- what if there's something directly underneath the tower? You know what I mean? Look at- It's getting really close to 2 a.m. That's when vampires get the most ridiculous. It's when their powers are the strongest. Chat, 
I was so paranoid that for a second I saw those that light right there. And when it's not zoomed in, it looks like two eyes staring at you from the fucking trees. Only when you're not zoomed in, it looks like two eyes in the trees looking at you. I thought it was them. That's just a werewolf. That one was a were- that was a werewolf. Oh no. Well, I'm not after them. I'm after the vampire. Fuck. So you're telling me there's vampire- what- what is this? Fucking Van Helsing? What is it? Why do I have to deal with like five different things at the same time? I don't want to deal with this. It's twilight. We are a huge jacked man. Yeah, that's what I'm getting worried about, man. I love your content, best streamer. Did you just fart? Oh no. Monkey covering its eyes. No, I did not fart. I did not. Wait, you're telling me I can't pick this up? That's a bummer. <laughs> well, this will be my safety zone. Nothing's gonna dare a step into this fucking grinder. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Alright, it's 410. I'm not scared anymore, but I am gonna have to move this camera. It gets no benefit here. <laughs> ah! Ow! <laughs> God damn it! I disabled you! <laughs> I heard a whale. I saw it. The fuck was that? Get lost! Oh, uh, another thing just crawled by that way. There really is like three different monsters. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. Uh, that's like a definite fucking spot to secure with that camera. I'll tell you what. Village doesn't seem to get a lot of traffic, but this spot right here gets a lot of foot traffic. They love this minecart. They love shitting next to it. Oh, yeah. What did I fucking say? I wasn't even bluffing when I said that this is like actual documented vampire shit. All right, they shit bricks. They do. It's real. We're gonna put a camera down right here. On this rock. Oh, yeah, this is it. How does that look for us? Oh, that's huge. All right, perfect. All right, chat. It's daytime. We're officially safe again. We are going to go. We're going to follow the path on the north. Uh, we need to get, start exploring. We have to get braver. We have to get more powerful. We're on the trail of something sick. We're on the trail of some kind of sick freak. Egg. We're gonna investigate the egg. With me. Everyone, come on. Egg juice? I'm really confused why this has a faucet. Explain. Someone, please explain. Oh, fuck. Whatever those things are, they love scampering around this part of town. We got bricks everywhere. Yep.
Keep your wits about you, chat. At a moment's notice, things could get a little crazy. All right. We don't know if all those things of the night actually sleep. Or if some of them just wander... Oh, no. If some of them just wander around forever and ever. Is that a graveyard? Well, I mean, if I was going to secure another area for myself, it'd definitely be this place and not the fucking graveyard. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to go to the fucking graveyard. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to secure this abandoned old house that's all ripped up. Base camp, base camp. This is where we live now. Huh? A vegetable with particular properties making it especially good at repelling certain undead creatures. Oh, uh huh. Garlic. Well, I mean, I'm not going to put a camera down here. I only have one left. I guess I'm going to... Chat, everyone get excited. We're going to go to the... Crypt. <laughs> right now. We got him right where we want him. There's only one way. There's only one entrance. Yeah, yeah, this guy's fucked. Werewolf Chan come out to play. There better not be an exit. Hi, it's daytime. <laughs> Give me that. I reach into his body and I rip out an amulet piece. The fuck out of my way. Where's the next one? Come on! Wall up! Come on already. Think I got all day? Where the hell you go? Oh yeah? I'm keeping my trap ready because I know something's going to jump on me. We finally summoned the blood mist last night. We weren't able to save as many villages as we'd hoped. One of the ferals crushed a man's bones and tore him to pieces. We couldn't have anticipated such a positive result. That lamp doesn't work. It's 3.03. Chat. I worry we will not be going home tonight. We may be spending an eve in the crypts. Oh, fuck me. I don't want to do this. <laughs> wait a minute. I changed my... Oh, wait. Never mind. It's just like a hole. This thing doesn't open. I thought it was like actually leading down. Where did that werewolf... Chat, there really is only one entrance. Where did... uh? Where did the werewolf go? Well, considering there's only one entrance, I'm going to put a camera facing the door. And then we're going home.
camera like right here on the road. I think. The sun. We need to go home. The night cometh, and when the night cometh, the ghouls approacheth. I'm not prepared to spend time outside at night until after I've, like, explored the map. Once I know the map design, well, then it's night time. Time. I think. I think that's, uh, how I do it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's better. Oh, actually, uh... Just point it right there. That's better. That's a better camera angle. You're welcome. Assholes. Think they're gonna trick me? Yeah, right. I think I don't want to stay up in that tower anymore. I think I'd like to stay in a place with sunlight. Or like a lamp. So I think we're gonna go back to tower one on that... Asshole. I think I might go up to the tower with lights on it. Well, one of the ghouls is dead. We have an amulet piece, you know, and that's pretty cool. That's cool. A blood red mist is rolling in. I'm going for the tower with a light on it. <sighs> Fuck off, idiot. Fuck off, idiot. You can't climb. No one's dying here today. No one. Well, I'm glad you're having a good fucking time, asshole. Seems like no one can- Oh, really? Oh, really? A whole bunch of them? Oh. This one's by me. I don't know, after what I did to the last three guys, I feel like they should know better than to fucking step up. You know what I mean? Like, I would say I thrashed them. I mean, we all can agree. I've already found, like, the tech, which is, uh, weapon swapping. So I can do a triple shot on basically anything in the game without needing to wait to reload. The tech is there. Why don't I just grab this spear and stab them to death? That's not gonna be me. This what you see right here, that's the idiot that was here before me. Alright, that's not gonna be what happens to me. I can assure you of that. I'm not that guy. It's only 10. It's only 10, 17 p.m. There's a creature right beneath the tower. I can hear them.
freaks out all of them. He's trying to find a good place to shit, just like a dog. <laughs> just like a dog, they're like running around, running in circles, trying to find a spot to take a dump in. <laughs> My god, they're everywhere. It's 11.18 p.m. It's not even close to the end of the night. I spilled my juice all over the ground after I set it on the stool beneath me, and now I have nothing to drink. Animals are, are collecting at the bottom of the tower, slurping up the juice. Current weather? Stinky air. Maybe it's cool now. Maybe stuff's chill. Nah, fuck that. Nah, bro, nah. What did I say? Oh, I know. It's just that guy. Dude, just, just pick a spot. Man, it doesn't matter. Help him find a spot. And maybe I've ruined his other spot because I parked my camera directly on the shit pile. He's making like grumbling sounds. He's so mad about it. You guys think I could have looted? No, I'm almost positive that I can't loot the uh, one that I killed like that just now to this like tonight. I'll check when I get down there when the sun's coming up, but I don't think I can loot amulets off of them. I'm gonna assume that I have to get ones that are like naturally spawned out in the world and not like a vet ones, or it'd be too easy. Oh, they're all lurking around trying to find me. It's a good thing they don't know how to use their arms to climb up ladders. Well, we can start charting out where we're going next. Um, pretty obvious. This area needs to be uh, looted and explored. So I think we just cut right through. Two twenty a.m. I get a text message on my phone. I look. It's from someone named Dracula. It says, "Get down here now," and it has an angry face. I'm gonna block the number. I don't know what the heck that sound was, but it's 3 a.m. Yeah. Wow, it's sort of weirdly dark, but also not right now, huh? Do not leave Dracula on red. I fucking did. Oh, there's my flashlight battery I missed so much. Ugh. I wish these cameras went in order. <laughs> That's kind of like one thing I'm noticing. Uh, I go from three to seven to five to six to three. Rename them. I'm not going downstairs till five uh, a.m. today. Uh, sorry. Sorry, oops. Sorry. Sorry, oops, LMAO, idiot. Oops. Not doing it. When we sleep. Oh, I sleep with my eyes open while I stand. Oh. The blood moon is over. 
Chat, with the end of the Blood Moon, we are finally able to descend the ladder and resume our dark work. It's time. To the village. We have work to do today. Oh, fuck me. They're gonna kill me right now. Guess I can find out if you have amulets on you. They don't. Stay dead. The blood moon's over! Everyone go home! <laughs> Everyone fuck off! Oh my god. The sun is up. The sun is up. That one ain't shit. I'm still hearing heartbeats. I guess 6 a.m. is when it's legally daytime in this game. I guess it's like 6 to 6. It's like 12 hours. Whatever, I owned them. Everyone saw. <laughs> Everyone saw it, dude. I owned them hard. Vampires don't actually weaken in sun- don't actually burn in sunlight, only weaken them in most lore, tomato. Wrong. Haven't heard from Renz or Weiru in a while. Said they were headed south to some new settlement to deliver some tools. Might round up a few men. Okay, that's where we're going. Tonight, that's where we're going. We're gonna settle at the new settlement right there. Come on, chat. Maybe they're still alive. Maybe... Maybe there's a chance some of them are still alive. Why is the village medieval but you have guns and a camera? Did you know that the whole world does not evolve and change and get technology at the same time? And sometimes, you wouldn't get it, it's Amish. They're Amish. All right, there, happy, they're Amish. Have you, have you never played Civ? Dude, one thing I know for sure is that when I get cavalry in Civ, fucking Gandhi has nukes and blasts me into the sun, okay? All right, we, we are not the, not everything's fair. We're gonna, actually, I'm gonna check over here first. Did the motion blur turn back on? All it takes is one pause. No, I don't really need to kill these guys, do I? We're gonna check what's... Wait, have I already been here? Oh yeah, I have been there. That's the, uh, that's the vampire's actual true crypt. The true final resting place. Nice. All right, here's the plan, chat. Here's the plan. It's fair to say at this point that if another blood mist happens, we are going to be swarmed by death. Like, that's, like, very obvious. We need to have, be in a tower on those nights or we're dead. No exceptions. So I gotta be kind of careful to always know where the nearest... Oh, wow, yeah, here we are. Brand new settlement. It's totally coming together. Yeah. I think he's gonna fall for it. I'm sorry. How many times have I shot you? Jesus! 
That one was quite a bit tankier than the last one, but I got the amulet. Sir, it's daytime. Evidently, we uh, are in desperate need of more bear traps. Or I'll have to kite every vampire to the crypt. <laughs> I shouldn't just stood there and like gotten hit, but I was kind of baffled that I... Oh, these are full heals. I'm unkillable. Uh, I was kind of baffled that um, he didn't die. Because the last one died way faster. Oh, that's two amulets. Maybe the last one I shot, like, earlier at some other point, because they seem to wander around a little. But that's two of them. I mean, that doesn't really solve the, uh... Oh. Well, I'm gonna turn that off. I just hate that. That's a good corner. How about you take a look at Jesus? Or, like, an angel or something. It's already 145. They hate this area. This place is locked down. Well, let's, uh... Unlock it down. I don't have a bear trap to secure my house tonight, so we have to leave. Better you than me, bozo. Better you than me. bear trap. If I had a bear trap, I'd be happy to stay here. I have... Oh, I can craft one. If I had one more scrap metal, which I don't. We lost a couple more last night. This is becoming too much. We'll need to find a new place to bury our dead now. The order is sealed shut in the southeastern catacombs. The amulet must act as some kind of key. Yeah, I figured that out ages ago. Yeah. <laughs> I know all about the amulet. Time to go home, Chet. Time to go home. The ghouls are going to come crawling out soon. So we've got pretty much this whole half of the map done. We've got quite a bit more still. I think there's a vampire's source I may have missed. Oh, we can hide out in this tower tonight. Perfect, perfect. That gives us a little bit more time. We'll hide out here. Nice, nice. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. What the heck was that? Was that? Huh? Wait, hang on. Did I get him? <laughs> I heard a scream. Fuck off! Where'd his body land? Might have had an amulet piece on him. Boy, oh boy, I sure hope he didn't, because his body's gone. You know, at first, the brick thing was a bit. Now I'm definitely standing by the fact that I think it is vampire shits. Well... If the vampire had an amulet on him, I think they'd, like, glow a little. 
so I don't think that was a real one. Because there was also another one that definitely died. And its body's not down here either. So I think they despawn. You gotta be kidding me. Well, uh... I guess mist blood mists are the new thing. I guess every night is going to be a fucking absolute shit show. At least you got another bear trap. Hang on, I want that. <sighs> like little cockroaches. They can't do anything about it. If I put a bear trap down, I could trick one or two at a time into climbing into it, essentially. The blight has gotten worse. Our crops have stopped growing entirely. The order must have something to do with this. I've never believed the propaganda about cleansing the land. Huh. Well, chat, everyone buckle in. It's gonna be a long night. gonna be a long one not much to do now that the red mist is flown in really not much to do at all kind of just forced to sit around because the second I touch down on the ground some vampires gonna know I'm there So I can pre-plan. I mean, well, look, we got that. We have... Oh, fuck. We have two amulet pieces. We have... So many bullets. We've got a lot of stuff going for us, but I just don't think there's many ways... I don't think there's any reason... At all... To, uh... Go down at night during this blood mist. I think it's like psycho. I think that's like unhinged. I, you only get one life in this game. There's no saving to my knowledge. It's very important that we take it easy and slow. We're gonna be, we're gonna be fine though. Wanna play I Spy while we're waiting? All right, you guys go first. I spy something red. Uh, the UI element underneath my rifle in the middle. There. Yep. I spy something red. The mist? Ah, oh, fuck. All right, your turn. Your turn. Well, everyone shut up. Game's over. Crypt. Just trying to find a place to poop. But I've bear trapped the crypt. No one gets into that crypt anymore. It's 
Square Fort. What the heck? I'm gonna put my fucking character on the ground floor for a second. I just wanted to see if I could lure some up here so I could take pot shots at him to kill time. Idiot! All this trick in the book. It's like fishing. Yeah. What an absolute fool. He's dead. It's 1.45 a.m. Can you throw meat out? Why would I waste my fucking resources with these idiots? I'd rather, I, like a bullet or two is whatever. I'm not gonna spend my distraction resources when I know for a fact I'm gonna need those later in the game to keep things off me while I like finish the game. Because, uh, for context, Folklore Hunter, unlike Skinwalker Hunt, or like most of these kinds of games, has like an actual, like, cycle for the map. It's not like, like, I'm getting these, I'm getting these amulet pieces as the win condition. They're like, there's win conditions, unlike where it's like, oh, just kill the fucking thing. You have to complete the win condition to end it. So I'm saving all my resources so I can most easily achieve my win condition. Speaking of glowing eyes in the darkest darkness, big Valheim update is cooking right now. Yeah, but like, I'm waiting for Valheim to be done at this point. Cause like that big update's like one new zone with one new boss and like five new like enemy, but it's like, it's been a lot for it. The game's been, I'd rather just wait for everything to be done instead of like one new zone at a time when the game takes a long time to get through already. I'd rather just to be done, you know? I'm not gonna do anything with it till then. Oh, huh? Pick a spot. Remember, Chet, the sun doesn't technically rise until 5.30 or 6 or some shit. And I'm not spending 18 bullets defending myself when the sun is fully up. Again, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna have to take this easy. Just stay patient and calm. Even with the mist gone, the danger is not. Get out of here. Damn it. It's almost time. Look at them. They were all out there. Freaks. Hello Neighbor 2 comes out on Tuesday. No fucking way. Hang on. Holy shit, dude. Yo. Yo. Bro! Dude, Christmas comes early December 6th, bro! Yes, dude! Christmas comes early this year. I was considering playing Dwarf Fortress that day, but fuck that. No one cares about that shit. I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna be playing, uh, Hello Neighbor. 
Also, I may not be doing Dwarf Fortress on Tuesday anyways. That'll probably be Wednesday. I'm gonna spend a day to actually, like, learn it with the new controls rather than fucking miserably slam my face against a wall for, like, uh, like two of the, like, five or six hours I play it. That's insane. So we'll probably do that, like, Wednesday. So, hello, Neighbor Tuesday, baby. Woo! Is it time? Wait a minute, but it said motion was still detected on camera seven. Oh no, that was Crip. God damn, these things shit everywhere. So we got the, we got the, the settlement. I'm gonna guess that there's probably some kind of vampire down this spooky path as well. Oh yeah. There's definitely some kind of creature this way. Everything's loaded. Oh no, this just looks like someone's garden. Well, if there is a vampire here, they will face my wrath. Garlic. Thanks. I'll take dynamite. These creatures are gonna rue the day they fucked with me. Think I'm just some pushover? Wait, are we back at a- this is a separate crypt. Oh, baby, you guys know me. There's a bear trap going down right here, baby. A bear trap county. Let's go. Unless there's nothing in here. Oh no, it's just gonna sneak in from behind and get me that way. Sucks to suck, bozo. Sucks to suck. They feed on darkness. They, they seem stronger at night. Daylight, it weakens them. You guys think I'm about to get jumped by a vampire? It's gonna really suck if it spawns in the building. Guess that's what the garlic's for. Oh my fucking god. There's all these like eyeball things on it. Like, on the walls of some of these maps. And it makes me think that I need, like, a camera looking at them. But, uh, I've done that, and it hasn't changed anything. Hmm. No vampire here. I'm just so wary of, like, a blood mist, you know what I mean? Like, if another blood mist comes, I'm fucking dead. Well, for now, I'm just gonna leave that deactivated, then. I've got- I've got garlic to save me from a blood mist swarm. We know where the nearest tower is. I wanna check over here. They're really loading me up on ammo, though. Holy shit. Is that a different house or the same one? Same one. Look, if those vampires want to run at me in the middle of the night during a blood mist, fine. Come on then. 
I'll run up this mountainside. I'll take them on. From atop the highest peak of this realm. I'll fight them in the Yeti cave. Never mind, I can't go in there. But I, I wait, yes I can. Everyone get down! I wouldn't fucking try it. Man, I put the garlic down, it didn't care. <laughs> or maybe it did once it got past it. Oh, no, there it is. Dude, chill. I'm just killing you and taking your amulet. All right, give it here. You guys think you guys think there's gonna be a blood moon tonight? This could be it for old me. How much ammo do I have? Forty rounds. Maybe we just sleep here tonight in this fucking cave. We just need enough scrap to make a bear trap and we'd be okay. We're gonna be fine. There's no way another blood mist comes in. I'm just checking these side halls for like... Best thing is, chat, I know where the last uh, amulet is. It's like around there. Okay, well, there's nothing else here. But there's a mine cart. There might be loot. Now, oh. if a blood mist is happening, it's definitely happening. Uh, there's not really much we can do about it. All I can do now is try to arm myself to the teeth. I'm not, it's six, and I'm not seeing a blood mist coming in. We might be lucky. Well, if there was one coming in, it'd be kind of like a tower defense in that they'd have to come in through here past the garlic AOE, which is going to cause constant ticking damage upon them. And then really the rest is just like, you know, bop, 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 just gun them down. I thought I loaded this. LMAO, how much have you already played this game, Tomato? It feels like you've played it for years. No, I'm just really good at games. Oh, no. So I guess every day is a blood miss now. Don't have enough scrap to survive. How much ammo I got? 40 rounds. We're in a set piece area. There's a chance the creatures may not even be willing to navigate in here. There's no way they spawn in here. They'd have to crawl in themselves. I don't think the game anticipated 
us literally choosing to hide inside of a cave we blew open the entrance to and then killed the vampire inside. This may be good for us. We may actually have a break tonight. Motion on camera seven. We may have a break tonight. If I don't move, we might be okay. No, 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 chat. Camera seven's like a mile away from here. That's this one. What if like 80, like 80 guys pour in? <laughs> Cause they might have all, but what if they all spawn from like the same place and they all, huh? Look, they wouldn't fuck with us. We're protected by the light of Jesus Christ. You have to invite them in. Oh, you're right. Every other time up until now, I've been, like, outside in places where they do not need an invitation. This time, I'm somewhere that they have to enter. They need to ask. And they can't. I bet they're all at the door waiting for me. Do you hear that? We got that that music that sounds like spiders. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like that. Well, I know one guy who's dead. Is that right, idiot? Yeah, they wouldn't fucking come in here. I killed their leader. It's like, it's, dude, it's like, I, I've defeated one of the Elite Four, okay? Matter of fact, I've deleted three of the Elite Four, making me, okay, an incredibly powerful, like, gamer. They may, in fact, know not to fuck with me. There's only one Elite left. Nah, nah, nah. The point is, chat, that even if Lance defeats us in the Elite Four arena, Bug Catcher Barry ain't gonna fucking step up on us anymore with their goddamn weevil. All right? Their weedle or whatever the fuck it is ain't gonna bother. This is a bunch of level fives on Route 1 trying to fuck with me. All right? When I have a legend, I, I'm, a, I'm a legendary Pokemon trainer. Okay, I'm a legendary folklore slayer. It's the same thing. We're getting hassled by Zubats. <laughs> it's 12.31 a.m. I'm so tempted to peek outside the cave, chat. But if I do... And they do swarm me and rip me to shreds. I'll never live it down for the rest of my life. So I can't. The spiders are back. Did you hear it? The spiders are back. What if you just dip your toesies outside? Never. Never. I ain't gonna be that fool. I need to be smarter than you. You all make mistakes. I don't. I'm gonna win this game. 
worst seven days to die blood moon I've ever seen. Yeah, dude. I mean, underground cave map. Uh, they're not coming through the choke, dude. I think they might be digging in through the ceiling. Or digging under. We're going to start hearing sounds of something like... And then we're going to see dust start falling from the roof. And then we're going to realize that the zombies all pathed over the house. Because there's a block of garlic that's cut off the only way the AI knows how to get down here. It's 3 a.m. Two hours of standing stream, Pog. You guys don't fucking understand how bad it could get. You're so dumb. You guys, you guys are so dumb, dude. You guys don't get it. I missed it. Why are we playing Hello Neighbor on Tuesday? Wasn't that game bad? Shut up. You're not a real fan of Hello Neighbor, I can tell. But while I, okay, while all you were just dumping on it, I was trying to understand the deep and complex lore within. I spent the last fucking six months since I played the beta researching, MatPat style, everything I could about Hello Neighbor 1 and its spin-off games, movies, and franchise. And I can tell you one thing. That game has more to it than we once believed. And that's just not a game theory. That's reality. And you need to fucking accept it or you're going to be catching these hands in a video game. Like maybe Minecraft. Mist gone? Mist ain't gone until 6. Alright? Even then, there's still some scampering. We'll go out at 5.30 to take a peek, okay? But I'm not in the interest of burning all my ammo when it's finite. It's time. A little early. No, it isn't. No, it's time. Let's go. No, it isn't. We're going to wait till 530. Okay, fine. It's time. Let's go. Scared? Not scared. Just worried about my resources. Something growled. I heard that. What I say? Hello? Hello? They were all totally on the roof. A hundred percent from the sound chat. They were all standing right there. And wouldn't path in. They were there. We saw one scamper away at the last second. We all saw! Alright, it's time to finish this. Now, is there a place where I can plant dynamite here, maybe? I have three blocks of dynamite. After this, it's going to get more complicated, because I'm not going to know where things are for the last vampires. Or the last one. Oh, there was a tower here the whole time. Oh well. Any loot? Scrap metal. I need another bear trap. I need another bear trap really bad. I think that's the, that's the big one. But I don't think the game's gonna give it to me. Old meat. I 
I feel like there's a chance I could actually just see the next landmark I want to find if I climb up this... Oh, never mind. This tower... Actually... Oh, that's fucked up. Yo, that's evil! Oh, this one's the evil one. Well... Well, I, I remember at one point when I played this game, there was like a church or something in the, like, depths of the map that gave us, like, that had a, mo like, a crypt in it. It was very deep into the level, though. I don't see it. I'm just, like, kind of, like, that would definitely be where the last thing is. I'm still gonna make my way over here because I vaguely remember it was in this corner. We're looking for one more guy. No, oh, I gotta be careful not to leave the map. It's just wild that every night is a blood moon now, so if we don't find what we're looking for, we're kind of fucked. Because every night, we can't do anything. I had the feeling that it was here. Because here was where the, uh... The other crypt area was. Maybe the vampire, like, disappeared or, like, didn't spawn properly. I should go back and check it, it feels like. This is the old one. That I looted a while ago. Vampire shit all over this hill. There might be something on this cliffside. Like, another cave. It's actually looking like it. Maybe? No. I kinda wanna check the, uh, the mine where my cameras are. But yeah, essentially right now the problem is that we are missing a vampire. We don't know where they are. They have the last amulet piece. I've got two more dynamite that are unused, which makes me think it might be in a cave. But, uh, no dice on actually finding it so far. Unless there's only three of them. You know, when I look at it, it does look like that. Even though these look like they should be three per cor- I'm gonna take it to- I'm gonna take it in. We might actually have it. Either way, I'm heading back to the village. Because I think if I- if it does work, I'd need to do it in the church. All right, chat, we may have the solution to killing these vampires once and for all. <laughs> Ow, fuck! Arise. The amulet of the cursed, arise. No bear traps does not make me confident in our ability to survive inside of the crypt, though. Also, I'm not going to do it this uh, late in the day. I think we should sweep the town one last time for loot. Hang out in the tower this evening. And tomorrow... We take the fight to Dracula. All in favor. Say aye.
See, the trick is you never say that there's even an option to say nay, so no one says it. That's how you get them. <laughs> I mean, if no Blood Moon happens tonight, if that's even possible at this point, I will hunt them down and kill every single guy in that crypt. All right, that I can assure you. All right. I'm gonna light this place up like Christmas, man. Did I just drop my, my dynamite? We probably want that. It's gonna be really red up here, man. <laughs> that I can assure you. No vampires is sneaking in today. If there's no blood moon though, I am gonna go. But so far, math is... Math around 7 p.m. has been blood moon time. Every time. Seems like it's the only thing. Maybe it's because I made the amulet. Huh. Imagine that. Spider sounds. Well, if there's no vampires, I'm fucking out of here. Let's go. No blood moon, at least. They won't be able to track me. Come on, chat. We're headed to the vampire's crypts. In the middle of the night, when they're at their most powerful. Because I'm anticipating that by the time I get there, get in, and have killed everything on the way there, they will be at their weakest... Actually, there's something I want to check first as well. The road we spawned at... batteries do I have? Nine. Oh, we're good. I'm hearing spiders. Just want to make sure that this path actually is just my, uh, supply stash. It is. Okay. Just my supplies. All right. We're heading south. Vampire's been shitting here all day. All day and night in and... Baxter? No! They killed him! I swear to God, I will escalate harder than you could possibly imagine as a direct result to this... <laughs> this discovery. I right, hang on. Can I also have this? What is this? Like, they hit all the Easter eggs behind spawn. Can I have that too? That would help. All right. Here's the situation. <laughs> no one's coming in after me tonight. That I can assure you. We're locking it down. Anything tries to sneak into the crypt once I get in, I'm gonna know. Complete security lockdown. We don't leave until we kill Dracula.
I can see it. people come in from here. It's a thought that counts. Are you fucking kidding me? I better have gotten that back. Oh, I did. Okay, it would be really embarrassing if I didn't get it back and they actually gave me a second door. Huh? I'm gonna do this preemptively. I want my battery at maximum brightness. I wanna fu- I basically wanna be the guy when you turn like a corner in Tarkov and you suddenly see the sun because someone has put 18 flashlights on their like AR and every single attachment possible is a high power flashlight and they just blind your character. I, I'm that guy today. All right. <laughs> Dracula! Your time has come. Yeah, yeah. It's only midnight. Ain't you supposed to be at your strongest? I guess um, guess I'm here till I win it. Pathetic. Garlic. <laughs> yeah, I really wish I had more hot bars. I really sometimes wish I had more hot bars. <laughs> Doesn't seem like he dies normally. There's something we need to do. Two bandages. <laughs> Ow! I had to sacrifice blood at a blood altar. I don't know if that was what I should have done. I'm gonna use this corner as my, like, own Dracula corner. Although he seems to be quite stupid. This is gonna be the safe corner. Because I, I do want to get that uh, bear trap out of my bar so I can keep uh, garlic in it. It doesn't feel safe. This is as safe as we're gonna get. Oh, fuck me! Was it safe? The bandages don't you work on the hot bar, turns out, uh, which makes them fucking useless. You have to right click them. I was mashing the button to use it, and it wouldn't use it. Now we know. That's uh, really frustrating to find out when you're at the end of the game. What's wrong? You crying? Little baby gonna cry? Yeah. Garlic. Is there a lion down here? I missed, idiot. Oh, he ripped up my garlic. What'll I do? Seems the crossbow's better here. Not really sure. Oh, fuck me, dude. I have to do all this crap? There's just more I gotta do. There's like a full-on Skyrim puzzle I have to take care of. 
while Dracula's trying to get me. This gun's not loaded. Good thing I got so many resources. Heal wounds. Reload gun. Jeez, I don't even know how to proceed. Okay. So three, row three is that symbol. I guess is what I should be perceiving. I didn't even really clock it. Doesn't feel great to fight without being able to use my, uh... Row three is that one. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like the other weapon is useless. The only good one's the crossbow, but it takes the entire round to load it. Chill. He ate the garlic. He full on. <clears throat> I'm just not really sure where the other stuff is that I need to open this. I'm also not really sure what the blood sacrifice is for. Two. Well, I don't see a thing for row two. One. Owned. Yeah, that's my bear trap, you fucking idiot. My safety corner. Also, not seeing a symbol here. I see where a symbol should be. Oh, is it that one? I can brute force the last one. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, so one is gonna be that weird symbol. Two cameras, gee, thanks. I'm actually gonna do one more wave of uh, this so I can also have my gun, my crossbows loaded before I go down. So the first one is that weird cross. I guess I can brute force the last one. Uh huh. Uh huh! Oh yeah! Huh, dude, that was weird because that was two crossbows, point blank, and my whole mag. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. Load up. This is Galaxy. <laughs> he does not fucking care about garlic. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess he's getting stronger. Why even fight him? He runs away after three hits. So I have that many more charges of this before I'm just dead. We're gonna try brute forcing this one. Combination is incomplete. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try that one. Combination complete. I'm gonna try this one. Combination is complete. It was the last one. Please open. Oh, 
All I can do is try to stall by running in circles. Do I need a blue crystal? Oh, fuck you, dude. I really need the blue crystal from upstairs. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. This ending is kind of stupid. And so then they locked me in. I don't even remember where the blue crystal fucking was. At this point, I'm just looking for enough stuff to get another. Okay. Uh. He gripped. He like actually grabbed. Me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die. Like I'm not gonna be able to win. Oh my god, that's so wildly frustrating. Cause he's he's got so much health now that I actually can't kill him. Like there's no point shooting at him. He has so much health. Seems like stuff's respawning though, which is cool. If I find where he is, I can kite him onto this. Oh fuck you, man. He has more reach than me too. That's it. I don't remember where the blue crystal is, so we can't win. Don't know where it was, but it's not where I thought. So I can't win the game. <laughs> For some reason, none of the bags on the ground ever spawned a bandage. It was right here the whole fucking time. I don't think we win. Oh, there he is. Nope, that's it. Fuck you, dude. Oh, that's such bad game design. I had fucking 16 full heals. I had 16 full heals. I can understand a lot of it. I really just cannot fucking like my brain can't accept the fact that they make the vampire one completely ignore the garlic. The garlic didn't matter. I brought fucking all of it for that and I watched it walk over it uh, entirely and not get affected. There's no saving. So you lose once that happens. So that's permanently I'm dead. I have to go all the way back in and restart from scratch. And the reason I lost is because I didn't see the blue crystal on the way uh, out. Damn, man. That's some high concentration bullshit. That's so rough. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's so sad, too, because I think that this dev does, like, the atmosphere of their, like, monster hunting game really well. I think they do, I think they handle the execution of a lot of the hunting parts really well. I like the like more puzzly stuff, but that fucking sucked. <sighs> that crypt part was rough. That's too bad. That leaves a bad enough taste that I don't really want to try it again, even though normally I would. Well, I got, I mean, we could switch over to like, we could try another one. Like there's other games like this. I don't, I, I don't think I'd do Skinwalker Hunt because it's, uh, there's only the, I'd have to beat the Witch Hunter level. Uh, but I don't, I think there's like a new level of the Bigfoot one. Like a snow level for Bigfoot. I think, wasn't there like a Bigfoot one? I don't 
to if I'll be around after stream, but I'm switching to Bigfoot now if you want to join. I might be able to get a second for Bigfoot game. Because I think there's like a snow level. I think there's like other levels for the Bigfoot one. We'll see. We'll see, maybe. I'm at least gonna take a look around. We'll see. Oh. Oh, I'm. Oh, the internet's just bad because I just insta downloaded the game. Okay. Hang on, I gotta swap the fucking directory to Bigfoot instead of Dracula, which is. I mean, this is. The title at least is really easy. This part's the easiest thing ever. I will punch Bigfoot in the throat. Cool. Oh, cool. This game launches in perfect, uh, perfect lockdown your whole computer full screen. <laughs> I love that too. I really love that. You know when full screen, like full screen loads up and it actually freezes your whole computer? Yeah. Yeah. Look, okay. Player versus AI. For now, a 1v1 between me, a master monster hunter, and an AI character. Out here in beautiful Yellowstone National Park. Two huge guys in Yellowstone National Park. Bigfoot. Huge. No. Bigfoot squishy, but Bigfoot strong. Okay, we're gonna do this one clean. I play Rick. Wait, no. Damn, what the fuck? Jessica, chill. For a second, Jessica's eyes were like fucking psycho. Dude, if you look past Thomas's, like, sunglasses, he's also got the psycho eyes. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually a Bigfoot hunter, but I'm, I'm also a Bigfoot. I'm just kind of a psycho. No, that's the AI. I'm gonna play Rick. Hang on, hang on. They've got like stats. I'm gonna play uh Who's got the best stats though? Oh, it's William. He's got that 20% reload speed. Let's get in there. Play as Bigfoot versus AI. Huh. Surprisingly, Yellowstone is far from tame. Just a month ago, two volunteers from Greenpeace, Avery and Luis, were found dead in one of the clearings. They had been in the park to clean up litter and beautify the park, but something had been waiting for them in the woods, and it ended their mission early. Was it just an unfortunate accident or something worse? It's up to you to find out what. They got killed by a small eruption. Oh. I love motion blur. Oh yeah. Motion blur gets me going every time. Here we are. Beautiful Yellowstone National Park, night one. Oh. Wolves. Oh, 
No fucking way Bigfoot comes and attacks me before I even have a gun. He's mean, but he ain't a psycho. Alright, that's fucked. No fucking way he's just gonna show up, do something like that to me. I hear someone scampering right around this fucking rock, and I'm not gonna keep pretending I don't. Fuck off! I hear someone! Hmm. You guys keep hearing that? I keep hearing, like, footsteps. But that ain't right. Where's my gun? Empty. Where's my gun? I packed a gun! Right? It's gotta be in the RV. Let's get that closed. This is like, like, having a map of the United States like this is so fucking useless. Like, what do you get? Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know if you can really use this to navigate at all. Signal flare. Flare gun. Bigfoot hates flare guns. Cameras. We know all this. It's bad out there tonight. rounds five five six you think if I knew I was fighting Bigfoot I'd pack something higher caliber than five five six. Oh, there's my seven six two okay nothing nothing no, nothing nothing some ammo nothing night vision camera battery wait what wait I need batteries for them well, I'll tell you what, first camera's gonna go right here. Wait a minute, how do I use a camera? There it is. I forgot that I was a little zoomer. I forgot I was actually playing like a zoomer kid about to cry. First big Bigfoot hunt, dude! Just like my dad! Can I just like, can I just like hit out the roof of my car? Yep. Mm. Oh. Hello? Nice scope! <laughs> this kid sucks! They were fucking dead! Are you kidding me? That's the zoom? We just got like a piece of glass inside of this fucking thing. We're dead. Get me up here. I need to get on the roof. We also crashed our car into this. We also actually crashed our car into the fucking sign. No, oh, I'm not going out there. Alright, here's what we do. Window down. Camera. Where's the, how do I pull out my camera? Camera. Six. Right? Yeah? No, that's just how many cameras I have. What's the camera button? What is the button to pull out my own camera? I pulled it out once. Item wheel. Ah, yes. <laughs> now this is gaming. Oh, yeah. Now, this is from the safety of my house. This RV... <laughs> secure. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Where are my parents? <laughs> Bro! 
Bigfoot's real, dude. We will have security. We will have security in this building. All right. And we have two spare. And next, we're going to send the drone out. Here we go. Get out the window, get it out the window, get it out the window, get it out the window. How do I- ah, fuck, ow, shit. Just get it out the window. <laughs> ah! Ah! <sighs> now I'll be able to tell if Bigfoot's coming from any angle. Be it from the ground. Or even from the sky. I do not know how to drive this. Apparently shift is down. Fucking epic, dude. God damn it, I'm badass. Alright, let's take a look around. I'm gonna take this over to the lake. If Bigfoot's real, we're gonna find him with drone technology. Wait, this looks a lot. This light looks a lot bigger in the. Uh... Oh wait. Damn! Wow. That's the water. That was a $3,000 drone my papa got me. All right, that's it. We're taking matters into our own hands tonight. Come on, folks. I didn't see one Bigfoot anywhere. What we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this here river till we get to the lake, because we need to go pick up my, my drone. We need to see if it's in the water still, because my dad's gonna fucking kill me. I lose that thing. Just like Minecraft. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Hello? Hello? Thought I heard something. It might still be okay. We, we might have to submerge the whole drone in her ice, but it'll be fine. We just need to get to the lake. Come on. Where's my gun? Oh, there we go. Did I not have a pistol at one point? Hello? 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 must have been the wind because if wait why is there a why is there a, a horrible sickly piss yellow smog flowing in <laughs> huh. the piss mist it's here my friend
Nothing. Nothing for us here. Not even so much as a snack. Help. Come on. We gotta go get to my drone already. These people can't be helped. Not by me. I'm only 12. Yeah, I think drones float. Well, that's a pretty good upgrade from my drone, I guess, if the drone's fucking gone. Can I swim? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> my dad's gonna be fucking pissed I lose this. <laughs> the fuck is that sound? Can't get above the water. Man, this is a slow drown. Okay, the uh, the drone's gone. I heard the sound of someone shooting a gun, but everyone's dead. They've all been devoured by the big food. So that's not possible. Unless the Bigfoot's alive. What's that sound? It goes without saying that you should not dare approach me while I'm directly next to this power vehicle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. No, 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 no. The wolves. Wait, I know what to do. Bigfoot Island. People always tell stories about the legendary Bigfoot Island. Can I get in here? Oh, Old Faithful is nearby. Chat. Mechanically speaking, is it possible for me to lure Bigfoot onto Old Faithful? Ow! Ow! And kind of explode them into space? Which one of these is Old Faithful? Which, which one of these is Old Faithful? Is that one? Only one way to find out. Dude, yeah, but chat, here's the thing. What if you went to Yellowstone and everyone went on and on about that thing of like, oh, Old Faithful's Old Faithful because it always happens at exactly this time. Blah, blah, blah. But when you get there, it fucking stops. How would you... How bad... Would it make you feel if in fact the Old Faithful was like, and that's it, dude. No more. I've had just about enough. I think I take it personally, yeah. Sorry, was that a plane? Holy shit, I think I just shot it down. That are... Uh-oh. No, I think it just dropped something. I don't think... That was, uh, that was a deliberate descent. Chat, no, 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 no. That was a deliberate descent, chat. That was deliberate. He just caused the forest to know I fucking didn't. Ow. Yeah, I want to try to shoot myself into space using Old Faithful. How many, how long is it? Wait, when does, when's the timing on Old Faithful again? How, well, how many times does it do it? Twenty six days. Oh. Well, I'm bored of it. I 
I have to go to Bigfoot Island. I'm, I've, I'm workshopping uh, an idea. I've got a plan. I think Bigfoot may enjoy hanging out on Bigfoot Island. And when it happens, I'm going to get a picture of it. And then I'm going to make sure that everyone knows Bigfoot lives there. Then I will destroy the bridge leading to it. Therefore, trapping him on Bigfoot Island. And then... Tourism. Dude, this is going to be such a nice fucking shot if I get a picture of Bigfoot charging at me. Illuminated by this lamp. Think about it. Well, at this point, it looks like Bigfoot doesn't live on Bigfoot Island, but that's okay. I'm going to live on the island instead. Is that a zip line? Situated directly above power lines? Oh, that seems smart. Oh, that seems really good. <laughs> Whoever thought of that one's clever. Golly, I sure hope Bigfoot ain't following me. So what's your thing? Huh. Whoever lives in this fucking house up here is a psycho. Oh wait, I don't want this out. I don't want the Bigfoot to think I'm evil. Where's my other camera? Huh? Wait, is Bigfoot at my house right now? I heard beeping. No, I'm not at Bigfoot's house. He doesn't live here. Epic. This isn't a good hiking trail. It ends, like, right here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That was him! That was Bigfoot! <laughs> Fuck me! He was walking across to Bigfoot Island like I said he would. Well, little guy, doesn't look like we're making it out of this one on account of the Bigfoot eating me. It seems like this may in fact be my- hang on, I draw, I'll, just draw the, I'll just draw all the blinds. Bigfoot's not fucking real. That was just some hairy guy. Right, let's just do it. Let's do a check. Oh, fuck. That's him. Hey, fuck off. My blinds. Oh, fuck. I didn't even know there was a window here. Get a picture of him. He's just throttling me! I want to believe! Where is he? I need to get a picture and no one will believe me! Bigfoot! Show yourself!
I said Bigfoot <laughs> Show yourself now There's only one place for him to leave and it's back across the whole bridge And I don't know if he did that. I think I fucking heard him. I think he's down this ridge. Hello? Oh, fuck. Because I figured out how Bigfoot got out so fast. He wrote this fucking zip line. Damn. He's good. Guess we gotta go after him. Okay. That didn't go great. Everyone shut the fuck up. Alright? I, I, all I want is a picture of Bigfoot and he just fucking broke everything in my house. Everyone shut the fuck up. Wait, can you go both ways with this one? Yo! All right. I need a shotgun now. Too bad he can't drive cars. Yeah, let's see here. Empty microwave. Phone lines are out. Piano's out too. Get these candles lit. We're gonna turn off all the lights and we're gonna use just candles. It's gonna be so immersive. And we just watch TV while this all blows over. Wait, that's him! I saw that guy! It's him! I literally saw him. I recognize that guy anywhere. That was the guy that just jumped me. Holy shit. I think this is where Bigfoot takes his shits. I actually think that this is his house. This is where he goes. Oh, fucking Christ. That's not blood. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. This place is fucked. Ah! <gasps> ah! Ah! What is that? A fucking Bigfoot trap? Is it a trap made by Bigfoot to catch me? I actually, you can't see very well in here because of the smog. I'm actually coughing up. I'm actually like coughing. I can't breathe. It's okay, chat. I'm only in here for a second. I'm not gonna let it. If Bigfoot is a regular in this spot, he's not gonna get away with it any longer, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna be a go- I'm gonna hunt monsters. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, oh. oh fuck! Oh Jesus! Ah! Ow! Wait, I'm sorry, I'll take a picture. Ow! Hang on. What? What? 
Bigfoot smashed me through the wall and I can't move now. Chat, Bigfoot smashed me through the wall and now I can't move my camera. He's, he's, he's completely embedded me in the wall. I'm stuck in the poop shack wall. <laughs> Just kill me! <coughs> kill me! <coughs> kill me! <coughs> Help! <coughs> Help! <coughs> Help! 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 <coughs> Rotate mouse and jump backwards. Thanks. Oh, you think it? You think you think that one's gonna do it? Chat. Yeah. Yeah. I bet my mouse totally works. Help. Yeah, I think we're doomed. Anyways, I'm gonna save the game, exit, and rejoin and see if it fixes me or if I'm gonna spawn back in. Inside. The toilet. Alright, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Evidence found. <laughs> I knew I was on to something. What was I even between? I know Bigfoot's out there. Chad, we all saw it. Bigfoot was real, and he beat the shit out of me in a, in an outhouse. He's real. I can't. Not again. Ow! Ow! Why do I... He reset the trap? Bigfoot reset the trap. I think my guy's actually dying. He's bleeding to death. My character's actually dying. My character, he's actually like begging for death. Help! Help! Ow! What's that? Is that a is that a doggy come to save me? Is that like some kind of doggy come to save my life? Dog? Look, chat, we're fine. Look, chat, we're fine. A dog's coming. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. What was that? Oh, no, we're definitely not gonna be okay. No, nah, we're gonna bleed out. Night number one. Didn't even make it one night in hell. I knew I wasn't cut out to be a monster hunter chat. I knew I was doomed. Is that a cow? No way, no, that's a moose. No. There's like five different animals that are all just watching me die and none of them are helping. Why? Why wouldn't they help? Why did everyone- do Oh, what? Oh no, Bigfoot's eating me. I thought maybe I lived. <laughs> what the fuck is my character? Dude, what is that pose? William, what the fuck was that pose? Right on, bruh. 
Right on, bro! Hang on. Player versus AI. I want a player versus AI. I just want to see about... I just want to see about Winter Park. Let's go to the Christmas level. I just want to see what's up. I'll play Rick. I just want to take a look around. I love Christmas levels. Dude, I love Christmas. Nothing warms my heart quite like a Christmas level in a video game. Oh, yeah. Some of my just favorite shit. Wait, no, influencers have gone missing. No! Three popular influencers are fucking dead! No. That could be me. That could have been me, man. And you're all laughing. You all find it funny or some shit? Was my- this was on the pan. Was my character cooking that before now? Damn. Hey, where's my gun? Where the hell's my gun? All right, Bigfoot. I just need to get one good picture with him, chat. That's all. All we need is one good picture of Bigfoot. All right, and we're clear. So is this like a, I throw it at him? Oh, I see. All we need is to get one good picture of the Bigfoot. Why oh, is that thing peeping? We're out of here. I don't trust that. Alright, chat. We're gonna head deep into the highest peaks of this place and try to get a picture of the abominable snowman. That might be him! Shut the fuck up. Alright, guys, take a picture of me with the bear. Yeah, I have a friend, Bear. What's up? Yeah, me and him are buds. Bear doesn't care. Why would he, dude? I'm his bud. We've been through a lot together. We really have. Hey, watch out. You don't want to get too close to that totem, dude. That thing's bad for your health. Did I not pick up like a tablet so I could see my own cameras? Because I wanted to turn on the camera with me just like hanging out with the bear. What's up, bud? Alright, I'm gonna get moving. Okay, buddy, but I'll see you later. Bye. That wasn't- that wasn't the abominable yeti, but we did make a friend. Nature can be beautiful. 
Hang on, that might be the sound of the Yeti. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. Photo evidence. That's fucking crazy. Them something clawed that thing, but it wasn't the bear. It might have been something else, something crazy. It, you may not have seen it from the picture, but next to the big claw marks, scrawled with also claw, it said, this is the Yeti that did this. It said that beneath the claw marks in English. I want to believe that the Yeti is real, but the, but, but, but I need to see something. The Yeti needs to show me that he's real. I'm heading deep into the mountains. At the dead of night. To take some freaking pictures of a Yeti. We're heading up to the old abandoned ski resort. I don't like that. Yeah, we're just gonna take that out of there. Can I see that? Oh, it's probably just a light. Is there any way we can like power this? Any way we can get this thing turned on? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're gonna have to walk up the hill. Come on, everyone. Let's get up that mountain. Everyone knows the Yeti's gonna hang out on top of the mountain. What's that sound? Could have been the Yeti? Probably not this low down. Yeah, he's gonna be at a higher elevation. We know this. Was that the sound of the fucking predator? Hang on now. I don't know exactly what I'm signing up for here, but I think I just heard the clicking sounds of like the predator. <clears throat> I'm not so sure about that one, man. I don't really want to get involved in that. I'm not going to the fucking shelter. I gotta get to the bottom of this Yeti situation. Yeti! Maybe if I let it know where I am. Yeti! Come out! Where are you? Yeti! It's gotta be around here. We're almost at the top of the mountain. What? No. It's starting to slow me down. I can't climb this steep hill. Here we are at the top. Stay alive. I want to see if maybe this thing was actually a monster, but it's just a huge ass snowman. I'm gonna take a picture of him. Nice. Wow, look at that view. Wow. Wow. Now this right here we got ahead of us right now is one hell of a view, chat. Look at this all. Uh, what the fuck? God damn it, really? Wow, man, I was gonna take a picture and everything. Okay. Okay, whatever. Shy moon, no, it's just a daytime. When the Yeti slumbers. 
but you know it totally slumbers up in the mountains. And this time I'm waiting for it. The Yeti ain't going nowhere without me catching him tonight and or today. Especially once I leave out his favorite snacks. Meat. Right up here. On a plate. For him to eat off of. Yep. When he shows up, I'm gonna get a picture of him. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look like such a cool guy. And I'm gonna have the snowman in the background so no one can say it's a snowman I took a picture of. They'll have the comparison shot. I'm gonna get a lot of cloud out, out of this one, alright? Come on, Yeti. It's gonna be hard to tell when he shows up because he's, you know, he's gonna look like a big old pile of snow. But we'll see him. Well, he's gonna show up any second now, guys. He's definitely just not, he's not gonna just like not show up. I promise. The, Ye the Yeti's real. He's gonna be here. Um. The Yeti's real, man. No wonder the influencers disappeared. They all lost. They lost all their subscribers with this shit Yeti hunt. He's real. Yet he's real, man. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard something. <laughs> Yet he's real, man. Can't believe we got suckered into this. Damn it, you don't have collision. Alright, fine. Oh, ah, ow! I was trying to jump on that. I was trying to... Just show that Yeti isn't real. Cause that that guy, you when you fall, like I did, your head doesn't pop off usually. Along with your legs. Oh my God, that's Ethan fucking Drake. He had five billion subscribers. Oh, fuck. Uh, Ow! <laughs> okay, maybe he just fell a bunch and then broke his legs and then died. This is a Yeti walking path. Wow, that was close. I thought an avalanche was gonna happen. We're okay. That's a gigantic can of fireworks. Bunch of meat. First aid kit. You're gonna need that.
think you found my snacks. Did you hear that? I'm gonna let him know I'm here. Is this working? Okay, it is. Big food! Come to me! I don't think you heard. The Yeti's real. Chat, why else would that guy- Ow! Well, he missed. I'm getting this all on stream, dude. I'm getting this all fucking on stream, dude. I'm live right now, dude. Do your fucking a big time, dude. I swear I'm getting- Yeah, I'm streaming! I'm streaming! Ow! Ow! <laughs> You canceled, dude. I'm going after him. He went this way. But this time I'm going after him pissed off. Big foot, come on out. Just wanna talk. I was so excited to finally get the chance to meet you. Just wanna get an autograph is all. Just a little autograph. Big food. Oh, is this your favorite waterfall? Yeah, I bet it is. Well, wow, there's really nothing in it to go into? Huh. Really thought there would be. He's pissed? Tch, whatever, I've got over a hundred pictures of him beating me up. You think, the, you think the people will still be behind him after Bigfoot is revealed as a psycho? No, no, no. That's just not how the fucking world works. He's done as soon as I get to a Wi-Fi hotspot. As soon as I have service, this guy's fucking dead. Socially. He's socially dead. Damn, I wish I could use my scope to see things. I'm looking for his cave so I can also invade his privacy. That's what I'm like trying to do. Oh no. I can smell it a mile away. Oh no. Oh fuck, I think I can actually see it wafting from outside a mile away. Next, I'm gonna get a picture of him breaking into my house and trying to kill me. He's gonna be in so much fucking trouble. I'm also gonna have my skulls down. I'm gonna really make him work for it. Yeah. Yeah.
This definitely hasn't gone poorly for anyone. Ever. Matter of fact. I'm sorry, baby. One more prank about Bigfoot on a snowboard and then I swear no more filming. Then I'm only with you, Daniel. Just one more fucking Yeti prank. I told you what these were just... He died. Did you see that? He fucking did. Oh, he's still alive! Stop. I said... I said... I said... Put me down! Help. I'm gonna catch Bigfoot going into this house and looking at the two skulls and then I'll take a picture of it and then we'll be like, wow, Bigfoot also like collects human skulls. That's super problematic. And then he's done. And then, Chad, he's pretty much done. The fuck did those skulls do? I don't know. Hello? Wow, that's steep. This is, now this is the, uh, this is the ledge you want to trick the Yeti into like jumping off of and dying. I wish I could use this. My drone. I just can't. They won't let me. I lived, bitch. It's called tucking before you- Oh fuck, no I didn't. Help! 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 The adrenaline wore off and hurts really bad! Help! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Someone get mom, it's bad! Get mom! Ow! Who's that? Bear? The bear? Ah! 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 Damn. Hey man, did I too that time? <laughs> yeah. That's 34 XP. No one's surprised. Damn, I'm kind of I'm kind of fucking good at video games. Anyways, chat, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Uh, first game was fun until it wasn't. Uh, second game, there's just something really charming about the Bigfoot game. I don't know. I I play it less than the others, but there's something oddly charming about it. I think honestly, it's got the most interesting and aggressive monster of all of them. Uh, he actually fucking does stuff. And gets a little bit rambunctious out there. It's the feet. It's not the feet. But uh, I'm sending you guys over to Brett because I got D and D in ten minutes. Uh, we got a we got a we got a thing going on. So catch you all over at Pipe Dreamers. We're back. We're back. The next month we're back. D and D is back. So I'm gonna send you guys over there. I'm guessing he's live by now. Considering it's 10 minutes before the show's supposed to start. I'll see you all then. Thanks for coming on by. Thanks for gifting subs and donating in uh, bits as well. If you did, thanks. That's kind of you. I'll be back tomorrow for Callisto Protocol. Keep your eyes peeled. See you then. Bye-bye.